Hello, this is James with Lot Hill. I'm going to go over a couple report and employee settings that need to be adjusted when you're adding employees. This is going to allow you to see all the employees within a given department on the, the timesheet reports. If these aren't set, then you could possibly be getting a report with no employee information on it. So click on the Time Drop Manager and go ahead and sign in. The default username is manager and the password is password. And once you're signed in, go ahead and click on manage employees. First, we're going to make sure that the employee is set up properly for the departments. So find your profile. If you're using the manager profile, that's fine. Uh, double click on manager or click edit, highlight and click edit. But make sure that the blue line is selected or is on the account that you want to have um, adjusted. Down at the bottom, click on the departments tab. And for those that are running reports, you need to make sure that they are both a member and an owner of the departments that they control. If they are not um, in control of a given department, you can uncheck the is owner. That will make sure that they don't have access to timesheets of different departments. Uh, but if you're the general owner of the business, you're going to want to have is owner checked for all of the departments so you can see the timesheets for everybody in the business. So make sure for you, if you're running reports or anyone who is running reports, make sure they are a member and is owner is checked for those departments that they need to run reports for. Click Save. And then for all of the other employees, they should just be members of the department. So they don't need to be an owner, they just need to be a member. Um, if you're using an older version of Time Drop, they would need to be both. But by doing that, you're not just giving them access to view timesheets for everybody. If they're, a depart if they're an owner and a member, that's okay. As long as the allow, let me edit this guy, as long as the allow employee to view reports is unchecked, that person won't have access to run reports for anybody but themselves. So it's okay to have both of these checked as long as they have the uh, employee to view, allow employee to view reports option unchecked. So in summary, if you're running reports, make sure both are checked. If you're allowing other employees to run their own timesheets, have both of these checked. And if you don't want employees to access viewing timesheets, uncheck or make sure that it is still unchecked this allow employee to view reports option. As long as that's unchecked, they can't see reports for anybody else. Um, let's go ahead and go to manage time clock entries. This dropdown is also controlled by what department you are the owner of. So if you all you see is all, then that is an indicator that you don't have access to view um, or you're not an owner of the departments. Same for time clock reports. If you click on Time Clock Reports, My Timesheet is available for everybody if they have access to sign in. So when we go to Manage Employees, click on Security. If they have access to sign in, let's do just uh, Samuel here. If he has access to sign in, then the only thing he's going to be able to do is clock in and clock out because we give him permission to do that. And then if he has access to sign in, the only thing he can do is come up here and click Timesheet Reports and run his own timesheet. The only other option he has is to change his password. So if he has access to sign in, he can run the timesheet and change his password. That's it. Uh, if you want to allow him to run reports, then that would be the view reports option right here. So if we go to Samuel, check the allow employee to view reports, and then save. Now Samuel can run reports. He can change his password, um, that type of thing, for the departments that he's the owner of. Uh, let's see, and who's here monitor? This is the same thing. You can only view departments that you are owner of, and I can go ahead and show you that. Um, if I go to departments and uncheck is owner for myself here, hit save. When I come back to the who's here monitor, now I don't have access to anybody because I'm not an owner of the general department, and that's where all of my employees are. Uh, come back here, edit, check is owner. And now I have access to see all the departments. And that holds true for um, the report generator as well. So generate timesheet report. Come in here. 
this department selection is also driven by what departments you are an owner of. So as long as you check that is owner, you're not going to have any problems as far as reporting goes um, or seeing employees within a given department. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out at product.support at lothill.com or give us a call at 855-LOTHILL. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.